Hey guys, it's The Doc, and we are wrapping up another amazing week. These are my thoughts of the week. So typically, uh, what happens pretty often in my practice is, uh, and I'll use an example of a patient I saw yesterday. I saw a, um, a wonderful woman who was in her mid-30s for an acne follow-up, and her skin looked great. Uh, but then, you know, she said, you know, can I ask you some beauty anti-aging questions? And, you know, of course, you know, that's, that's what I do. And then she proceeded to pull stuff out of her bag. And, you know, she had one Ziploc bag that had, you know, all these serums in it, like a SkinCeutical stuff and some other stuff. And then she pulled out another bag that had uh, an LED mask in it. Uh, and, you know, that's just those things alone were probably like twelve or $1,300 worth of stuff. And when I see that, it... Um, it just, uh, it blows my mind. Um, so when you do what I do, uh, when you're a dermatologist, uh, you know, you're dealing with obviously skin issues, skin cancers, acne, you know, various rashes, etc. But a big part of what we do is beauty stuff, you know, Botox, fillers, lasers, and, uh, you know, a bunch of cosmetic treatments. And what drives me nuts is you know, we're dealing with a very vulnerable population. You know, of course, everyone wants to look as young and as good and as beautiful as possible. And there's a lot of charlatanism in this field. Um, there's a lot of docs who sell products in their offices and, you know, make a fortune doing it because, you know, you can say, hey, this new serum, you know, this magical mushroom goji berry extract, uh, rose hip oil containing hyaluronic acid serum is going to just take years off of your face and you know buy it from me for like 500 bucks you know that's what a lot of these serums cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars and you know most of it if not all of it is complete utter bs it's a complete waste of money and you know it's really taking advantage of patients you know i don't sell products in my office for that reason i sell a few sunscreens or really just one sunscreen just the one that i personally use um, but I always offer that with other recommendations to my patients. You know, it just happens to be one that I use, the one that you can only get from a, a doctor's office, and I like it. Um, but there's plenty of great over-the-counter sunscreens as well. I don't sell any serums or any magical potions or any of that crap in my office because, truthfully, there's really not much science behind any of it. Um, I've said this in previous posts, and really, the big three things that anyone can do for anti-aging purposes is wear an SPF 30 titanium or zinc containing sunscreen every single day, even if it's snowing or raining outside. Some kind of retinoid or retinol at night. Prescription retinoids are the best, you know, like old school tretinoin, which is retin-A. And the third thing is preventive Botox. Those three things are scientifically proven to have significant anti-aging effect. Now, if you want to spend 300 bucks on a vitamin C and E serum, you know, by all means, do so. You know, I'm not saying that it's harmful to do that. I'm just saying that should not be anywhere near the top three things you're doing for anti-aging purposes. Um, so that's what I went over with my patient yesterday. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that's basically it. You know, again, it's very easy to be fooled into, you know, buying these magical serums and creams and potions, which cost hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, you know, when you, when you add them all up. What I recommend to all my patients is, you know, wear sunscreen every day, an SPF 30 containing titanium or zinc, use some kind of retinoid at night, and then any money you would have spent on a serum or a magical cream, just put that aside. And then when you have enough to get Botox, get it. And if you have endless resources and you have money to spare beyond those top three things, then by all means, you know, spend your money as you wish. You could spend it on a $300 vitamin C and E serum and, uh, you know, it's not going to hurt you. Um, so those are my thoughts of the week. I hope all of you have a wonderful, restful weekend and are ready to just crush this week ahead. Let's get it.